开船来送我们呢。哇，你们搞不定了。Take a look on the boat here. He's even got some lobster on there and squid that he's caught this morning. What a catch, huh? Such a variety of fish you can catch just from out of the harbor here. It's amazing. Oh, look at that. Amazing and so beautiful. The water is just glowing. Our time in Wuji has come to an end, sadly. And as you know, we had a very successful uh, fishing trip outside of Taichung. We caught a lot of fish with my friends Afong and Afu, and they've come here to say goodbye and wish me good luck. We're gonna start a long voyage, about five or six hours, up the coast of Taiwan, passing through Taichung, Miaoli, Xinzhu to Taoyuan. Our destination is Zuwei, Fishing Harbor in Taoyuan. Thank you. Hey,你好。你好。我刚看外面写的是海关一站,这是怎么样的地方? 去做介紹。因為像這邊離岸風電,我們有一個風機小學堂,就是我們在海上為什麼要做這些風電,它上面其實都有介紹,然後它上面可以發多少的電力。I love these little models here and I think this one is particularly interesting because it shows quite clearly how these wind farms are anchored to the seafloor. You can see the cables that are laid on the ground and you can see a ship actually mounting propeller. I think it's very educational for children to better understand Taiwan's green energy, particularly the wind farm part that we drove past yesterday. Now,除了那个尼海有什么东西这里可以学习啊? This is amazing. You can actually borrow a life jacket if you want to here. Just give your ID and they'll lend you one for the day and you can use it to better explore. Okay. Anyways, you can borrow it and learn how a life jacket work a life jacket works and better understand some of the safety aspects of being on a boat. I think they have some displays about that as well. How Okay,你不用看,這是已經OK了。哇,這門超級的。小心,小心。好,我們下次再台中見面了,好吧?好,謝謝你送啊。好,拜拜。
So it's about 5.30 and the sun is starting to go down. We've got to pay attention here because we're heading into the wind farm area. This is Miao Li here. Miao Li has 11 fishing harbors, but they're all very shallow. So we're not going to go into them. We're going to keep going to Taoyuan and to Zhu Wei. In a few minutes, I'm going to really have to pay attention because uh, the wind farms don't show up on the chart, but you can see them on the radar. So you really have to kind of uh, figure out how to get through the minefield without crashing into them. And when it gets dark, it's a lot harder. So enjoy the beautiful view, enjoy the sunset. I'm going to go back and drive the boat because it's going to get critical in a few minutes. Look at this. Beautiful sunset. What a trip. That's the phosphorescence in the water. It's just so intense. In Chinese, they call it Lan Yen Lei. Right now, none, and in a second, you'll see it again. It's very amazing. Oh, look at that. Amazing and so beautiful. The water is just glowing. You can only see it in the spray because you need something to agitate the plankton to move around. And only when you get the plankton agitated can you see the phosphorescence. It's amazing. Look at that. Wow. We're just outside of Taoyuan Yungan Fishing Harbor. And you can see the plankton here. It's amazing. That's something you can only see from the boat. People usually pay money to see this. We're getting it for free here. What a show. We're about an hour out of Zhuwei Fishing Harbor. We're already in Taoyun, but we still got about an hour to go. We're doing about 14 knots, a good speed. But this is the most amazing part. The plankton here, Lan Yun Lei, as they call it. You can see it every once in a while. It starts to glow. This is not special effects. This is the effect of nature. It's really amazing. We're all sitting here watching this glow. It's mesmerizing. Uh, I'm really enjoying the trip. It's been great weather, and this is just the icing on the cake. Amazing. When we got into Jue Harbor the other night, it was dark. So I promised I'd show you the harbor during the daytime. We got in over here at the Coast Guard Station and this is the fishing boat part of the harbor over here. Then we came over here and we've docked over here. And a little further on is even the yachting harbor. Jue is one of my favorite harbors. I think they've done an excellent job here of sticking with the traditional and going with the modern. In other words, you have a very traditional fishing harbor that was uh, completed in the 1950s, but more recently they've added a yacht harbor to kind of show that this area is, is changing, that this industry is changing. This harbor's history also goes back a long time, back to the Qing Dynasty, and the people who lived in this Taoyuan area would use this harbor to transit back and forth between China and also fish here. So, in terms of harbors that are changing with times, I think Jiuwei's got it done really, really well. Let's learn more about Jiuwei as we uh, explore this part of Taoyuan. The nice thing about Jiuwei Fishing Harbor is that it actually has a small little fish market here. You can get absolutely fresh fish. And they're either caught locally, like these catfish and the squid he's got aboard, and they also bring in fish from other areas, sometimes as far as Japan and Hokkaido to sell here. So when you come here, you can get fresh fish, take it home and cook it up. I love that about this harbor. 
take a look on the boat here. He's even got some lobster on there and squid that he's caught this morning. This is a net fish and he's obviously scooped these up. They look delicious. Let's take a look. Oh, look at the squid in here. What a catch, huh? Such a variety of fish you can catch just from out of the harbor here. It's amazing. You can't get fresher than this. Look at these squid. They're all still alive. They're all still moving. What beautiful animals, huh? And these ones change color. That's the amazing thing. Fantastic. For those of you who don't know why these are catfish, here's the answer here. You can see the little whiskers on the bottom of the fish. That's a catfish. These are locally caught. They're great for making soup. So we just got the scoop from the fisherman. He goes and catches the catfish at just about uh, half an hour outside of the port here. So it's very convenient. From this port, depending on the season, you can catch different fish. So for example, in the winter in this harbor, they catch mullet. A few weeks ago, they were catching wuyu. Now we have the catfish and moving into the squid season. The summer is primarily the squid season. So you can come here almost any season and get fresh fish. And that's typical of the Taiwanese fishing harbors. The catches differ on the seasons, but there's always something great to eat here. Wang so this yellow fish, which is one of the most expensive fish here, is 2,000 per kilo. So very expensive. This is a beautiful specimen caught from right around here. So this fish market hours are irregular. You have to check because the boats come in at high tide. And as I said before, you have a huge variety of fish here. Some are locally caught and some are brought in from as far as Japan. You know they're fresh because the market only opens when the boats come in. So if you have time, come check out this Jue Yugang and get some fresh fish. In a few minutes, <coughs> sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. 